hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to talk about new dataverse accelerator app which is released recently and how we can create the quick low code plugins from dataverse accelerator app and how that can be in turn used in canvas apps or any power domain so that preview feature we are going to explore today and we are going to talk about the different use cases as well where we can use this low code dataverse plugins so let's start with it. So I am into my this one of environment that is NKP and this environment I have created as new and it does have the data words as an enabled. So as I have this environment recently created, so I get this data words accelerator app directly into my all apps and which I can run from here just to take a look what actually data words accelerator app is. So this app is related to giving you the early access to the preview feature which can help you with the database data was uh, development related stuff. So right now we can create the, the plugins which plugins can be uh, just low code. So this is the uh, data was accelerator app. So you can see I have features uh, related to create instant plugin create automated plugins. These are bound to this data was tables. And these instant plugins like these are inbound like you can use these reusable methods or usable operation anywhere in your apps in your power automate flows so that's this data was accelerator app provides so let's start how you can have this data was accelerator app enabled into your existing environment so this is a new environment as I said so that's why by default it's available if you want to enable it in your existing environment then you need to go to your admin center and select your environments and then go to your desired environment so let's say i want to enable this into the msp environment so remember your uh, environment should have data words as enabled and once you select your environment you can go to the resources and under resources you can click on dynamics 365 apps and over here when you click on install app it will give you the newly apps which are available which are not installed into your environment and you will find your dataverse accelerator app over here and it's enabled but it is not added to your environment so once i click on next and i'll say agree to the terms and condition now it will be available into your environment the existing environment also so once you do that you will see this dataverse accelerator app into your all tab and once you run it you will find this as running like this I'll just rerun it once like this so home page shows you this feature create instant plugins so as I said these are the usable functions or methods which you can create and can be used across your any environment and can be it's not bound to any tables so if I click on this create instant plugin you will find a page where we can start writing the input parameters for your plugin you have this output which where you can uh, extract the result out and in the advanced options you will have the solution if you want to tie up this plugin to any solution and the scope of this plugin so you can define that so if i go back and i'll just click on some of the couple of system created low code plugins for example send app notification you can select this one i did this plugin just to see what this plugin has so you would find that it takes input parameter as title email action body url and it does this operation it sends out app notification by looking up the user with a primary email address and then shows that in app notification and if I go back again, I can take a look on the existing one which sends an email, follow-up email. You can also click on this one. So these are by default created for you as soon as you load your this data accelerator app. So you can just review it just to get a knowledge like how the input parameters and output parameters can be used. So over here in this expression, this power FX where you can write, you can look up your email template from, from your email template list. And based on the title of the template, then you can extract the uh, information, account information where you want to send the email. So this is basically sending email based on the email templates 
table with within your data wars table so everything which is being done over here is related to data, data wars uh, operations only so one small plugin which i created just to play around is related to sum sum of two numbers it does nothing but just take input two integers and then as an output it saves that output of those integers so it's not sum it's actually like multiplication over here in the formula and this plugin can be tested once you write this plugin then it can be tested in the data or accelerator app itself so let's say let's start creating one instant plugin so i'll do i'll not include any input parameter over here i will just directly include one output because i want to have the user details of my data verse user the current user into this user detail string so i'll write this into power fx that i want to have my its user detail output variable to give me the current user i can have data verse id i can have the email of this user or i can directly just have the object of this user into my this data was user table but as we have created this as a string so we have to have this individual properties as in string so let's say i want to just capture the email of my current user though like in any of the data was or power automate we are directly have email but just for the sake of demo we are just saying this get email of current user and i'll save this one and we will run this into our api playground so over here in the left hand side you can see we have api playground we can directly test this into api playground so over here we are making a new request to our get email when i send it it gives me the this user details it's giving me the email id of my current user so this is meant to create the reusable functions you can also do like whatever the use case which comes to my mind is like you can validate current user to be a part of security group membership if that user is part of that security group member then you would proceed with some other operation so this reusable thing can allow you to just just like whether before doing any operation into your canvas app you can just quickly check with your plugin that whether this user is allowed to do that operation or not so that can be done also with it with this use cases of low code plugin so as in if you are having uh, experience with uh, traditional plugins by creating a .NET so which was actually like much more uh, knowledge is required of uh, .NET programming but this that cannot be replaced because that was providing uh, increased security level improved performance as well and i would say like uh, as we were developing with code like it's uh, more consistent and reliable than these low code plugins but wherever you want to do some generic or reusable operation for these small stuff checking security group or like finding other current users data wars id that sort of small generic stuff we can create this uh, low code plugins and as i went back to my api playground you can see i have these other options as well which are hidden right now so it's custom api so you can invoke any custom api using this option or data request and again this is the option which we already talked about so this one you can explore by yourself because it's a preview feature we may not be knowing like whether everything would be available into our production environment or like something would be released so there is no guarantee for the preview feature but it's worth to explore all these areas so i'll be again going to home and we'll be just clicking on this other automated plugin so just to uh, give you a brief about like what this other plugin can do so this is create automated plugin and if i click on this these are bound to the specific tables so over here you can see i have this all the tables list from my this environment i can bind this plugin to any of my table and what event uh, listeners i have over here is created updated and deleted so on those one i can write a power fx expression what operation we wish to do once some item some record is created into our database table so this perform the bound operation to specific tables and as in we can configure that it should be a pre-operation before creating a record or like it could be 
a post operation. So that way you can create this uh, bound plugins as well, automated plugins as well. And now we are going to just create one simple canvas app just to uh, just for the sake of like how we can consume this these plugins into our canvas app. So I'll just go to apps and we'll create the app from blank. And then we are going to quickly create or call this Dataverse plugin, low code plugin, which we just created. So as a prerequisite, I have to go to my data sources and I need to add this environment as my this data source so that we can do this environment plugin call operations. Uh, as soon as my environment data source is added, then we can just do this inbound operation so as my this data was is added as data source now i can drop one simple button on click of that select operation we are going to just call our plugin so for calling this plugin i am writing this as environment and you can see the existing plugins are coming over there environment dot and this get email or get user i think we we created as get user the our plugin we can go okay so we created as get email so this is our get email plugin and it does not take anything but it gives us the output into one of the variables so we'll just say set and where as user so that we can extract the information from our output variable and i'll just draw drop one label text so that we can see what output information we are getting from our plugin so i'm just dropping it and we'll just replace that with our variable as user dot user details and now we can just quickly run this one just to check what we are getting out of our plugin so now we are getting this plugin data the output data as in my email address so that's where you can quickly integrate that into your any canvas app and as well as it can be done quickly creating one power automate so we can create one power automate so we can go to our flows and we'll just create a quick demo flow where we are going to call this plugin i'll just create a instant cloud flow and we'll choose the trigger as manual and after that we'll be adding an action and we'll just search for the perform unbound operation action that is perform unbound action and over here we'll be choosing action from the existing list so we have this all plugin list so our plugin was with get email so we get this new underscore get email and there is no parameter which we need to pass in so we are good and once we save it and run it we should get a output from our dataverse plugin so it ran and we can just go to this select this action and you can go to the output of it and in the body output we are getting this email address which is intended to be output of our this dataverse plugin so this is how you can create your quick low code plugins into dataverse accelerator app and have that integrated with your canvas app in the power domain so you may think about your own use cases which you want to make at reusable at your environment level and can create those plugins quickly using dataverse accelerator app so the intent was like to make you familiar with the dataverse accelerator app and you can try explore the things by yourself so that is it for today thank you